Hello everyone. Today we start our new topic for the chapter 12th class enzyme. Our new topic is structure of enzyme. All enzymes are made up of protein. As we talk about talk our previous video, all the enzymes have basic nature of protein nature. But all proteins are not enzyme. There are so many different types of proteins found in our earth, but all proteins are not a enzyme. Enzymes have basic nature as protein, but all proteins are not a enzyme. First, we talk types of enzymes. Enzymes have two types: simple enzymes and conjugated or polar enzymes. First we talk about the simple enzymes. Which enzymes which is only made up of protein. There is no other part of anything, no other organic or dumping substance which are totally made up of, completely made up of protein. That we call the simple enzymes. Second thing, second type, conjugative or Polo enzymes. These enzymes have two parts. First is protein part and second is non-protein part. These enzymes have two parts. First is protein and second is non-protein. When an enzyme has not only a protein part, but also it also have non-protein part. These enzymes are called conjugated or polo enzyme. The protein part is we called apoenzyme, and the non-protein part is called cofactor. Protein part called what we call apoenzyme. And non-protein part is called cofactor. Let's see diagram. As you see in this diagram, a enzyme have two parts. Upper part, conjugated enzyme have two parts. Upper part is called apoenzyme, and second part is called which we call non-protein part. Or we call cofactor. It is the basic important thing is basic first type is prostatic group. We show apoenzyme or a non-protein part with dotted point and prostatic group or we call non-protein part in lines. Now we talk about the cofactor types. The cofactor is divided in three types. Prostatic group, coenzyme and activator. First is prostatic group. When, if, uh, when an organic compound attached with apoenzyme is firmly bonded, we cannot remove them in apoenzyme from this. As like this. The, this is the part of apoenzyme and it is a part of prostatic group. This prostatic group attached with organic compound and firmly bounded. We cannot easily detach with apoenzyme. It is called prostatic group. Example, cytochrome or some flavoproteins. Second is coenzyme. It is also organic compound, but it cannot be attached firmly. It is attached with apoenzyme loosely. Yet it we can easily detach with this part with this part of apoenzyme from apoenzyme. The coenzyme is loosely attached with apoenzyme or we call protein part. Some examples are NAD, FAT, NADP. 
Third is types of cofactor is activator. In organic substance, some metals where a where some inorganic substances are attached with a coenzyme part that is called the activator. Some examples are some metals. As like we show that this is the abundant part and some inorganic substance as a matter is attached with. So this part is called activator and this part is called abundant. Some metals examples are potassium, copper, iron, etc. So these types of non-protein part. Now the first and one other thing is very important for enzymes. Enzymes have some specific site. These specific sites are called active sites. It is very useful to combine with combine with any substrate in with the enzyme. These enzymes, these sites are called active sites. It is a specific site. So today we talk about the structure of enzyme. Enzyme basic enzyme have two types: simple enzymes, conjugated of enzymes. When simple enzymes, it is made of only protein. Conjugated have two parts: protein part as we call apple enzyme. Non-protein part as we call cofactor. Cofactor is divided in three parts. Prostatic group, it is firmly bounded. Second coenzyme, it is loosely bounded. Third is activator, it is an organic substance. Thank you. Have a nice day.